Hey, I'm Simon and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a grain effect to your Webflow project. There are a couple of different ways to achieve this and I'm going to show you a pretty simple and fast option. I constantly upload new Webflow tutorials on my channel so make sure to check them out and also subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any new videos. I would say let's get started now. Alright, I just opened up a Webflow project so that we can get started immediately. And the first step will be to add a div block. I'll just press Ctrl and E. On Mac it will probably be Option and E. And here I can just type in D and it will immediately uh, show the div block here. So I'm going to add a div block here. I'm going to drag it um, under the page wrapper here, inside the page wrapper. And I'm going to give it the style of grain overlay and now I'm going to set some properties so an important thing is to set it to fixed and I want it the grain overlay to cover the whole screen so I'm going to select this option here of full so now it's zero percent on every single side and I'm going to give it a Z index of one so that it's on top of everything and the grain will be everywhere. I can even set a higher Z index, doesn't really matter. And now I'm also going to set a background. Um, and this background here will be a background image. And here I got the grain GIF prepared and this is looking pretty awful right now. So I will lower the opacity to something like um, for this tutorial, I will lower it to 6%, which would be too much normally, but just so that you can see what's going on here. And I actually got the GIF here inside of the, inside of the video description, you can get the GIF. Yeah, so now I'm going to... So now basically we already got the grain set up, but there's only one problem. As you can see, I'm currently hovering over the button, but the cursor is not switching and there's also no hover state that's being triggered. Um, and also, if we have a look here at the canvas, at the designer, I can't click the things. So I'm currently hovering and clicking over these elements, but I can't click them. So that's because the grain overlay has a higher Z index and it covers everything. So the solution for this will be to add an embed. So I'm going to add an embed here and I'm also going to leave this custom code snippet here which is only a little bit of CSS inside of the video description. So I'll start with the style opening tag from CSS and then here I'm going to target the, the grain overlay class which we created before. So this is the grain overlay class and then here with the curly braces I can I can set up the styling here so here i'm going to target uh, to set the property of pointer events colon none so with pointer events none you will see what will happen in a second here and don't forget the semicolon here now actually i can click and hover over everything so here if we switch to the designer mode to the preview mode not the designer mode clearly we can hover over the button here so you can see the cursor is changing the hover state is being triggered but also in the designer canvas i can actually click and select every single element which is really important for working in webflow so yeah now we can customize it however we want we can lower the opacity now because it's starting to bother me a little bit <laughs> and yeah that's it as you have seen, it's really easy to create the grain effect inside of Webflow and I hope that you can do it on your own now. If you think that this tutorial was helpful, then make sure to leave a like on this video, but also subscribe to my channel for more Webflow content. If you have a question regarding this video or Webflow in general, then just let me know in the comments. I will reply. See you soon and have a nice day.